Welcome to Drive It Out. Today we are talking about the 718 Porsche Boxer. Now, this comes after the 981 generation of the Boxer and Cayman. So technically this chassis is the 982, but they've designated it the 718. And here's why. There's been a major change to the powertrain. So no longer does this car have the flat six cylinder engine. It is now a four cylinder turbo. It's still horizontally opposed, but you've got two less cylinders. So the 718 designation actually pays tribute back to some racing history that goes all the way back to the late 50s. But let's talk about the Boxer as a whole. If you remember, this car came out in the late 90s and it came onto the scene and did really well. As the entry level Porsche, it really provided a great driving experience right from the beginning. It comes from that mid-engine layout. Now they've refined it definitely along the way. This one in particular being the latest generation it's really, really nice what they've done to refine the lines on this car. So it doesn't look a whole lot different than the 981. Again, the major change is in the powertrain, but there has been some subtle refinements on the outside. So let's take a walk around it and we'll look at the refinements they've done on the exterior. All right, so the major styling changes really came with the 981 generation, but they've continued to refine them here with the 982. So long gone are those really round headlights that Porsche was known for, but even though they've changed shape, this is still very Porsche, you can tell from the front. So as you continue to come back, you can see that the styling on this car has really maintained these nice, simple curves, but they've done a really good job of sharpening things up and making it look more aggressive. Now, the curves are really set off on this one by the extra large 20 inch wheels. You got big brakes down there, nice drilled rotors, but as you continue to come back, you see these line starts here and it comes all the way back and it comes to this big inlet here on the side, really let that engine breathe. That looks really nice, really aggressive, and I love it. And those lines and those curves continue to come up over the big back wheels and it really does a lot for the back end of this car. So let's come back here and look, they've really made things look more aggressive and muscular back here on the rear end of the car. Now this car has a presence in the back that previous generations of the Boxer really lacked. This is a lot more aggressive nice and low and wide and it really highlights that. The way that they've come back here and they've pinched these taillights right here, it highlights this line that comes over the back wheels. Really like the way that looks. They got the Porsche script right here below the spoiler. And then as you come down the middle of the car, you get your Cyclops light up here, your script right here, and then right here in the center is these tailpipes. And they look really, really unique being in the center. And this is actually the sport exhaust and it really completes the look on the back end of the car really well. So. Now that we've talked about the outside, let's get on the inside of the car and see what it's like to be inside this Boxster. All right, so now we're down here inside this 718 Boxster. And I have to say that I personally like this interior for Porsche. It's a nice balance of screens and buttons. So this is a driver focused car. So I like to be able to drive and know that I can reach down if I want to hit something and there's texture to it and I can hit it without taking my eyes off the road at all, or at least for very long. You'll also notice that this steering wheel doesn't have controls on the steering wheel itself. Actually, all those controls that you would normally see here on a steering wheel are behind the steering wheel with these extra levers down here. So at first, this can actually look kind of busy when you think, okay, I've got blinkers and wipers back here, but there's these and my accident. When, once you drive it, if you've got your hands in the right place where you usually are gonna have them when you're driving, you don't have any problem with hitting the blinker or the wipers. And I've never run into hitting these while I'm driving. So again, if you've got your hands in the driving position, I actually really like the way that it works. So you get this nice display here in the middle. And of course, you have this car in the way I prefer, which is the manual transmission. Although the PDK transmission is extremely awesome in this car. But not only do you have a display here in the middle, but you've got a digital display here up in your gauges. So now like tech, like Porsche will do, they'll put that tachometer right in the middle for you. So when you're driving, you can really focus on those RPMs. And then you've got your speedo over here on the left, but the gauge on the right is a digital display and you can scroll through all kinds of things. So 
You can have data up there about the car. You get your turbo boost, radio stations. You can even put your navigation map up there and follow it. That is a lot of info in that little screen over there on the right side. But what they've done here is they've done a good job of making the interior driver focused. I love the waterfall down here in the middle with the buttons, but the passenger doesn't feel left out. So while this is a driver focused car, great for just the driving experience. If you had to go on a road trip in this car, kind of make it a, a grand tour of it, um, the passenger is gonna feel like they are completely involved in that experience and they can see and get to everything as well. And you know what? You've even got cup holders that Porsche has decided to put over here. So that was a unique way to solve a problem in a car that didn't really have any place for cup holders. But the materials in here are very nice. So I specifically like this dark blue that's in this particular car, but no matter what color you get it in, these materials are really nice. So even in areas where you're maybe not going to come in contact with the interior very often, the materials are still really nice. So you can tell that you're in a car that's very refined and you really wouldn't expect anything less from Porsche. But remember, this is the entry level way into the brand and it's really impressive for everything that you get. So now we're gonna take this for a drive and you can see see if I can give you a little bit of a feel of what it's like from the driver's seat because a car is only as good as it feels. So let's see what this car is all about on the road. All right, so this is the base Boxster. So you've got the two liter four cylinder turbo engine. And if you go up to the S, you got a 2.5 liter, you have 50 more horse, but I tell you what, this might be the fastest 300 horsepower car I have ever driven. Just this base Boxster is really, really good. So when you get it out on the road, you can definitely tell it's different than driving the naturally aspirated version of this car. The turbo definitely, you know, you gotta do a little more to get there, but once you're there, you're definitely there. And it definitely delivers in a big way. All right, let's go with the top down. Now, I found myself a good seating position, which was easy to do because you can move the seats in so many different directions in this car. But get yourself in that driving position, get comfortable. All right, so let's sum things up on this 718 Porsche Boxster. Now, if you are shopping for a sports car, new or used, I really don't think you wanna overlook this car. Now, we do miss the six cylinders. You've got four cylinders now, it's the turbo, but it still 
such a great car to drive. The reason you choose this car over the competition is the preciseness of this car. So think about the other formulas people have for sports cars and the other competitors for this car, like maybe a BMW Z4 or a Toyota Supra, or even think about a Chevrolet Corvette. You know, why do you pick the Boxster? The reason you pick the Boxster is the precision of the driving experience in this car. It's absolutely fantastic. So it's also gonna be a car that's just a nice place to hang out. And B, if you're gonna drive on a road trip or cross country, it's just a great place to be inside for the driver or the passenger. But when you wanna get off the beaten path, it's second to none in the way that this car is gonna handle. The confidence that it inspires in the driver when you're driving this car and pushing this car and in a performance situation, it's just absolutely fantastic. That mid-engine layout, the balance this car has, especially when you put it in sport mode, you're just gonna have so much fun. So now this is the base Boxster. You just got the two liter turbo, it's 300 horse, but it's plenty of power to go out there and really have some fun. Hang out in the high RPM range of this car and push it and just really enjoy it. So the reason you go for the Boxster is because of that precise driving feel. So we really like this car here at Drive It Out. We are all about the driving experience and this car answers the call for that 110%. So thank you so much for watching this review. Please don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next review.